Those decisions by the cities of Henderson and Las Vegas providing a big boost for an industry being hit hard by the pandemic. 13 Action News anchor Rosti Matei is at Tivoli Village, where at least one restaurant has plans to start selling curbside alcohol ASAP. Tivoli Village is a snapshot of what we are seeing throughout Las Vegas and across the country. The shopping plaza right now is a ghost town, which is why today's announcement was such welcome news for the bars and restaurants that are staying open. They get to resume selling alcohol and you get to bring the party home with you. It hit hard and it hit quick. That's Cheryl Best and no, she's not talking about the usual crowd of customers who come for happy hour. Echo and Rig is yet another restaurant forced to close its doors to customers because of the novel coronavirus. Honestly, the hardest part is the staff. I mean, we were 175, we're now seven. Um, so we think, you know, constantly I'm always thinking about the people that uh, were on our team, their families, how they're going to make ends meet, how they're going to take care of themselves. The remaining staff is getting creative in order to pay the bills, offering lots of new grab and go options and the same premium cuts of meat customers have come to count on. Rib eyes, I have pork chops down here, I have tenderloins, I have skirt steak just about everything we have on the menu pretty much. But management admits closing the bar has been a big loss for the business. It's just sad, you know, we're excited about all the new things coming out and new wines and new fun mixology programs and now it's just all come to a halt. Which is why the city's new plan to allow restaurants to sell alcohol with curbside meals was so welcome. It's a different city and we need our people to really listen to us. We need Washington to listen to us and treat us just a little bit differently than the rest of the country. And this thing last night with the alcohol um, and being able to get those permits quickly is really going to make a, a huge impact and, and help our business. As a business partly built on brunch, Echo and Rig plans to offer customers a Bloody Mary and Mimosa special, providing all the ingredients in sealed manufacturers containers in compliance with city rules. It makes us feel good to be able to service our community with a great product still that's really keeping our team yeah, super pumped, you know, for, for hopefully, you know, what's going to happen. The city of Las Vegas has already started accepting applications for this special 30 day alcohol permit. And for restaurants like Echo and Rig who have already applied, they're hoping to start selling alcohol curbside as early as tomorrow. Reporting in Summerlin, Ross DiMatteo, 13 Action News.